good day and welcome to today's construction class. My name is Uluwatun B. Blessing, Ola Likon, the founder of MyKTech. So today we'll be considering the concept of inscribing a triangle. Inscribing a triangle. So what does it entail to inscribe a triangle? One thing is if I were to inscribe, let's say for example, side BC. If I were to inscribe side BC, this is what I'm going to actually do first. I'm going to actually pick uh, a line you understand and i'm going to extend that line you understand at maxi as it is coming and b as it is coming from a so by extending this line i'm going to what have an angle here then what have an angle here so i'm going to what is bisect those angles to actually have my circle outside there which means i've actually what is cribbed side bc okay likewise if i'm going to uh inscribe uh coming so if i'm going if i'm going to ascribe es side uh let's say side a b i'm going to ascribe side a b okay so it's still the same procedure also so i'm going to just extend the line of a as this coming you understand and i'm going to extend the line of uh b where it is coming from which is coming from what from c also then I'm going to what, bisect the angle in between like this and the angle in between like this. All right. So that's just it. So that is it. So but for this uh, very one we have on the screen here, let us by let us uh, ascribe let us ascribe side AC, which is the shortest side of this particular triangle. Okay. So if I'm going to ascribe side AC, what I'm going to actually do is it's going to be this. All right. So I'm actually going to uh have let me just let me just have this here so that i can extend those lines let me have this here like this okay so on your paper you extend your line this line a you extend this in that order So you extend this in that order then your line c also you extend it in that order also so that's it i've extended line a i've extended line c so with that i can actually have an angle sitting in between that area all right so from from mark a from mark a i can have this i can have this sitting on mark a like this all right so then I can also have this on mark C like this. You grab. So I'm going to bisect this angle at mark A right now. Okay, I'm going to do that now. Okay, so I've bisected the angle at mark A like that. So I'm going to do the same thing as mark C by bisecting the angle at mark C also. Right. So as it is now, the bisector at C and bisector at A. At Bisector at C and bisector at A actually meet straight. They meet at this midpoint here. So if that is the case, all I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a circle with my compass standing at the junction where they intersect here. Okay. From out of intersection, I extend it to one of the side of my. You see, then I'm going to draw a circle like that. So you see, my circle was touches the side of this triangle. You see, touches this extension at A, and also you can see that it touches this extension at C. So as it is now, it can be said that this triangle ABC is bisected on side AC. It is bisected on side AC. All right. It is, I say bisected, it is inscribed on side AC. This triangle ABC is inscribed on side AC. So what does that imply? That implies that to inscribe, you bisect two external angles formed by the extensions of your line. Two external angles formed by the extension of your line. Once again, my name remains Oluwatunbi Blessing, Olaleko, the founder of MyKetek. Kindly ensure you subscribe to this YouTube channel and also refer to your friends who might be in need of it. Thank you.